Oh, you can't replace that, that batting order. It was a wonderful batting order and everybody made runs and everybody was capable. And the, the, the good thing is they all played positive cricket. They put the pressure on the bowlers and the, the game changes. You know, the, people don't realise for batsmen to put pressure on the bowlers, the, the game changes dramatically. And this is the, the major part and why A.B. de Villiers is such a big contributor. You, you, when you're watching, when A.B. comes out, you think the guys are starting to bowl badly. It's not the guys are bowling badly because A.B. is putting them under pressure. And that's what the difference is. He puts the bowlers, they think they can't bowl a bad ball because he's going to hit them for four. They tend to put it there rather than bowling it. And they start, the, the bowling deteriorates. And everybody cashes in. You to compare the, the batting lineup as I mentioned, and Dravid and Latchman and Saywag, I mean, that was a hell of a top batting six. It's one of the great batting combinations in, in the history of world cricket. And they were all capable players, they were all positive players. I, th I think, having played initially, these guys that are playing in South Canal have played on probably more slower wickets and turning wickets, and the ball hasn't seemed as much and bounced as much as they're having to contend with the in South Africa. So they're going to struggle a little bit. The, these conditions, I've seen in, I've seen Aussie sides and England sides and a lot of sides come and struggle here. There's a when the wickets are green and the Clouds are around, it's hard, hard to, to score run. Well, it's, it's, it's young days, but uh, the game follows a, the basic rules. Uh, on the green wickets, the seamers do the job, and you've got the, the catching guys. You're not under too, too much pressure. The game follows a pattern. So he's following the pattern. I don't think you can, and can do anything else but that. You know, he's a, a professional player, and he's technically he's good, and uh, I, I, I think it, it, it's there. He's going to make the runs. There's no doubt that he's a hugely talented player, and he's got a wonderful temperament, and he's aggressive, and uh, I think he's going to make many runs f over a long time uh, for, for India. Uh, but a key guy in, this, in the test lineup. You know, it's, it's hard to compare anybody with Sachin, so I, I think he's still got, got a little way to go, and, but he's moving in the right direction, and I think in a few years, if he continues his prolific form, he'll certainly be up there right with the Sachin. You know, they're all different players. You know, Steve Smith is, is rated one or two, but looking at him from the, off, from the side, he doesn't look all that great a player, but he's hugely effective and he's got a technique that works. And you've got to play according to how, how it works for you. And they all play differently, but I think the, the essence of good badminton, you've got to be positive, you've got to take on the bowling. I think he's a good motivator and he's, he's made a big contribution and he's, he's an intense guy and he spends a lot of time, I, I think he's aware of what's needed and he's done a good job. And, uh, I, I th think he's taken the, the pressure of AB because AB was the key guy. Let AB bat at four and make runs and continue to make runs. Faf is a, you know, I, I see a guy as a solid player. He f feels at first slip and he sees the game from that position and he does a good job. It, 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 it was totally overplayed, to be honest. I, I've never ever con complained about the transformation. I just say there are ways and means of making it more efficient and better. We need the transformation and it's playing, playing a hell of a job and a good job. But I think there was a couple of variations can make it even better. And it's been going nicely to this date.